In any abusive relationship, there has to be someone playing the role of the aggressor and there has to be someone playing the role of the victim. You can't have one and not the other, right? So someone that is, say, an aggressor, like a girl that might be, want to be abusive, she's looking for a guy that's going to play the role of the victim, right? And she'll do this unconsciously. I've met girls like this before. I've been on dates with them. They try and sort of pick little fights and arguments with me. I'm like, what? And I wouldn't stand for it, right? But other guys, they would fight back and she'd be like, oh yeah, I found like we can do this ballet, this dance together. This guy's a good dance partner for my little, I'm the abuser or he's the abuser or whatever. And so you often see people, men and women, going in and out of abusive relationship after abusive relationship. Now one part of it is, if you learned from your parents who maybe had a, a shitty relationship, okay, I know mine did, okay, if you learn from them, uh, about relationships. If their relationship is, is say, uh, shitty, <laughs> for want of a better word, that's what you see and you're like, well, they're together and they supposedly love each other. So your brain, when it's young, it codes up like that equals love or that equals relationship, right? And so your brain is telling you that if I don't have that kind of dynamic, that I don't have a proper relationship or love. You, you even hear people say, oh, like all real relationships have fights because if you don't fight, it's not real love and stuff like that. It's like, well, yeah, you can have fights, but not like maybe as extreme as what you're trying to say, right? And so it's your brain is coded up right now that maybe love or relationship equals this. And also what's interesting is because of that, anything that you've survived in the past, your brain thinks it's safe, not consciously, but unconsciously, because your brain's like, well, I know I can survive that. I've done that before. I've played that game before. I know I can get through that. And so unconsciously, sometimes it will go out and look for other experiences that are the same because to have a healthy relationship, a happy one, you'll sabotage yourself. You'll go, oh, this is too good for me. Oh, she's not treating me the way I'm used to being treated. She's not the type of girl that usually like pushes me around or whatever. And so you'll unconsciously sabotage that relationship and find yourself back in another abusive one. All right. So how do you turn it around? First thing, ask the right question. Like, how can I turn this around? Second thing is mainly, yeah, your mindset. So right now, unconsciously, you've got this going on where that's your model of reality that you've, you've built. And obviously that's supported by a certain way of thinking. So firstly, understand how your psychology is creating that. At least you kind of sort of have an idea why, which is a great, great start, okay? And then when you know how your psychology works, then you can start to actually proactively go out there and create the way that you want things to be instead and then when you do that for a period of time with practice, that becomes your new default. Like it doesn't just necessarily happen like that all the time. Some people, they get to a tipping point and they'll make a big shift like that. But if you're looking to do it manually, sometimes it takes a little bit longer just to, to really live yourself into that new way.